What is going on guys, Tiswava here, and welcome back to some more Minecraft Dungeons. Now last time we left off, we did the first two missions. Uh, it might have been either two or three missions if you count the tutorial, but either way, we did a, uh, let's go over and look at the mission select map. We did uh, Squid Coast and Creeper Woods, and now we can move on to Redstone Mines, Cacti Canyon, Pumpkin Pastures, or Soggy Swamp. Although I kind of want to go back to Squid Coast, because there was a chest that we could have gotten, but I, I tried to, I tried to like roll over to it and that didn't work for some reason. You guys were saying, yeah, you can just roll over to it to get that chest. So what if we start this tutorial and just kind of blaze right through it, get to the chest part, try and find out what's inside that chest, and then also be a little bit more, oh, let's skip this. Yeah, uh, be a little bit more mindful of our environment over here because of course this game is all about getting loot and stuff like that, right? So definitely want to look around and see if there's any loot and of course pull up this map right here. See if there's any, oh yeah, look at that, there's a bit down here. Yeah, there's like an island over here that I guess we have no access to right now. Hold on. What if we uh, got rid of that real quick? Oh, that didn't work. Man, I could. Oh, wait. Did I technically die right there? Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, my gosh. Secret area over here. We just roll over to it like that. I didn't even think that was possible. But look at that. My chicken stuck over there now, man. <laughs> Anyways, let's see. What do we? Oh, a chest. What's inside the chest? Uh, how many emeralds is that? We had 55, I think, right there. We got like 15 emeralds. Not bad. Oh, look at that. My, uh, my chicken teleported to me. Is that that's all that's over here? I guess so, huh? Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else over here, you guys. Nice! So immediately, right at the bat, like, right at the beginning of that and tutorial stage, there's loot. Hold on, can I roll over that? No, I cannot. Yeah, I don't know if I, like, technically died during that or what, <laughs> but uh, let's try and... Oh! And roll over there. Nice! Nice! All right, well... Uh, oh, yeah, and then uh, apparently you could also go inside of buildings. I don't know if we can go inside of this building, though. Uh, yeah, it's like not marked as like a, an area you can go inside of. Yeah, the outline like kind of ends around this house. So I guess you can't go inside there, but yeah, definitely want to be a little bit more mindful of the environment to actually find more loot and stuff. So I guess we can just blaze through the tutorial real quick. Yeah, we can just, uh, oh yeah, look, there's a cool, good cooldown on the, uh, on the, uh, there you go, kill that. Oh yeah, and apparently I missed out on some like arrows and stuff you guys said. So that kind of sucks. No arrows there. I guess it's just a random arrow in that environment. But yeah, I missed out on, like, arrows. I, I did see there was one enemy, like, oh, I think it was on either this map or the second one, where I think at the end it was like, oh yeah, you killed all but one enemies or whatever. Oh, there's a path over here. What's over here? Can I go over there? I don't think I can. Uh, yeah, the map, okay, yeah, the map definitely says you can't go over there, unfortunately, but what about up here? Seems like there's a little bit up here that we could potentially go up to, maybe. Uh... Nah, I'm not seeing anything here. Man! But yeah, it definitely pays off to actually, you know, lose these areas over here. And I might as well heal up, so take a potion right there, heal up. Apparently that thing is unlimited down there, but it just has a cooldown, so you can see it takes like, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 seconds or whatever for that to, to refresh, so yeah, it takes quite a while. Take those arrows, boom, kill that guy. Which I guess is a little bit of, uh, oh, do we have our armor here? Yeah, we do, yeah. I guess it's overkill now that we're, you know, armored up and have better weapons and armor and all that kind of stuff. Also got some comments from you guys saying, yeah. You should definitely salvage some of- Oh, and by the way, I edited the video and I didn't even notice uh, while playing the game that, yeah, this has 16 to 39 range damage, our current bow, 10 to 25. But of course, it does have this enchantment, but if we salvage this thing, which, can we do that while it's- uh, I guess we can't do it here. Maybe we can do it when we're at the uh, the home base or something like that, but yeah, apparently, the- I guess I'll switch over to that. These- the ones that have the enchantment on it, I can get the enchantment back by salvaging this thing. So that's really cool. Can I go inside this building? Because we went inside of a building a little while ago. Yeah, it doesn't seem like we can, so that sucks. Let's continue on a little bit and see if we can actually get to that one chest and see what's inside of it, you guys. Maybe even be a little bit more mindful and see if we can find any other uh, loot around here. Oh, nice. Killed that. Oh, yep. Up here is that skeleton I missed. I saw that. Yep. Got him right there. Nice. I wonder if we actually end up killing all the enemies over here now. That'd be really good. Oh, 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 there's a whole area up here. Ooh, yeah, look at that. It's even on the map and stuff, but I'm not actually physically seeing any chests or anything up here, unfortunately. Man, I guess it's just decoration or something like that. Another zombie right there, but yeah. I, I even said, oh yeah, let's let's use uh, the sword against the zombies and the arrows against the skeletons. And then I ended up using heckin' arrows against the zombies and stuff and ended up running out of heckin' arrows and stuff. <laughs> Anyways, I, I guess if anything, yeah, this is a good way of actually getting more and more, uh, Emeralds and stuff like that is just coming back redoing the levels and of course just getting more emeralds and other stuff like that bread Regen. Oh, what does this say? Like I've already been over here. I don't know what it's talking about. Oh, can I skip? Oh, I thought I could skip over that by jumping <laughs> or uh, rolling past that, but I guess I can't 
But yeah, maybe for the next level, we could actually do the harder version of that, because I like we we did pretty well on the uh, the Creeper Woods or whatever that one was called, so I'd say we Oh yeah, this is the one where we have to take on like two waves of illagers, right? Like so. Uh, yep, there's the guy right there. I guess he's like a hologram or something, because I can't actually hit him. And here we go, kill those illagers, like, instantly. <laughs> Let's kill these guys. There we go, got him, yeah. We've got a really good... Actually, I think this is our default sword. I don't even think we upgraded Oh, yeah, we did. It has fire aspect now, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's see if there's... Oh, 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 illager. Kill him, nice. There's another one coming towards us. Kind of want to see if there's anything over here. Nope, there's nothing. Got that guy. Oh! I got a heckin' firework arrow there. Nice! Although I already had that, though. It's going to give it to us, like, right here, right? I think so. Oh, yeah, I need to remember to use that, you guys. It's definitely remember to use it, because it, it, it's unlimited and stuff, but it just has a cooldown, so... Even got... Oh, what? Hold on. Uh... Is it loaded in? Oh, I think it is. So that means... Use this. And boom, got him. <laughs> Although that's going to take a while for that uh, firework down there to regen, unfortunately. But, let's try and get these skeletons using the melee, just because we have decent armor now, and let's see. How do we get over this chest now? Let's see. Oh! There we go! Got it! Nice! Arrows! Emeralds! Perfect! Man, uh, yeah... How did I do it in episode one? I tried to do it and I, it didn't work for some reason. Oh god! Oh jeez! Well, I just died right there. That sucks. Yeah, I don't know if I technically died right there or what. I don't know if I have like a set number of lives or you just regen unlimited amounts or something like that. Although, hey, at least we ended up getting that loot right there, so that's good. Let's see if there's any other uh, areas around here that might have some loot. Let's see if there's. Ooh, yeah, this would be a great place to hide some loot, you guys. Yeah, look at that. Even on the map, there's a lot of like area over here for us to potentially find some loot. I'm not seeing any right now, unfortunately. Man, I'm not seeing like any any jars that have emeralds or whatever those were. No chests or anything like that. It's just decoration, it seems. Unless it's in the water itself, which I don't see. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything right now. Watch, I'm going to edit this video and put text at the bottom of the screen saying, "Oh yeah, I did miss a chest. It's like right there." <laughs> anything else over here though? Nah. Think so, but yeah, this this game is all about getting loot and better armor, better weapons, all that kind of stuff. So definitely pays off to try and find these things, you guys. Oh yeah, and there's even something over here. Nope, nothing there. This is a big area. Look at this. This area opens up big time over here. I would not be surprised if there's like two or three chests that I completely missed out on. Oh yeah, over here is like that that like stable or a farmhouse or whatever that had the pigs inside of it. And then over here is going to be our camp, right? Yeah. So I don't know if there actually is going to be anything over here. If there was, I probably already found it, right? Because we're just going to set up our base camp right here now. So, yeah, let's just go over here. Let's go end this mission. Uh, hey, at least we ended up finding two chests, right? So that's good. But victory. Too late to rescue the villagers. But don't fret. They're still out there somewhere waiting for a hero to find them. Yeah, on the next mission, we end up saving five of those guys. I don't think I'm going to redo that one, at least just yet. I kind of want to move on to a new mission, just because I, I already redid that tutorial now. But yep, 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 look at that. Mobs defeated 100%. I believe it was like 90 or something like that. Maybe like 93 or something like that at the end of, uh, at the beginning of last episode or something, because I missed out on like one creature. But we ended up getting all of them right there, which is great. Anyways, let's see what we're going to get out of this magical uh, loot chest, which is actually kind of surprising that we could... Oh! We got a common fishing rod. Okay, I don't know if that's any better or worse than the one we already have. But, uh, yeah, from here, yep, now we can salvage our old bow, so, if we salvage that, we'll get a, uh, an enchantment thing, right? So, oh, salvage bit, oh, we'll even get some emeralds out of it, nice. So we'll get one enchantment, and then 15 emeralds, nice, salvage that, and then we'll use that enchantment for this to get the growing, or the power. Power boosts arrow damage. Let's spend 10%, oh, that's the same one we had last time, I think, right? Yeah, I guess we'll do the, uh, the growing, I'll just give it to this one instead, so there you go. And is that upgraded now? I think it is, yeah, so that's good. And it's rare, it does a little bit more damage, which is awesome. Uh, we could probably end up sell selling this wolf armor, salvaging it and getting a little bit of money out of it, I suppose. Just because it doesn't make any more sense for us to have this. Because we don't have any allies. 40% weapon damage boost aura. That actually is decent and all, but our current, like, two, plus 2 health, 35% damage reduction, plus 30% weapon, uh, melee damage. Seems a lot better than this one overall, you know? And I don't know if I want to really salvage it just to get a... Oh yeah, and then there's Snowball. Fires a Snowball at enemy every few seconds, briefly stunning it. Does it do that automatically or something like that? Oh wait, uh, I don't know, maybe it does. I never really looked at the uh, food reserves. Whenever you use a healing potion, you also create random food items. Interesting. And then a uh, potion barrier. Whenever you use a healing potion, you take 90% damage for a short duration. What? Or you take negative 90% damage for short duration. Ooh, so I guess whenever we heal up, we kind of have like an invincibility, almost an invincibility sort of meme for a moment, so that's actually really good. Although, I don't know if our current armor has that, right? Uh, no, yeah, it just has a surprise gift in the recycled one. Yeah, we already looked at that one. 
Either way, the fishing rod. What do we have right now? This one is the rare. And this one's the common. Okay, so I guess we can salvage that one. So salvage that. Get 16 emeralds out of that one. So there you go. Then we have the common firework arrow. Common firework arrow. 45. Yeah, it's just worse. I guess I'll just salvage that one. Yeah, there you go. Get some stuff out of it, I suppose. And there you go, guys. Nice. We're actually kind of close to leveling up to level 4, which is awesome. But either way, uh, oh, do we want to buy anything from the blacksmith? Because we've got good money now. 80 to do that. Let's do it. And we got another bow. It's worse. What? I think it's worse. It just looked like it, uh, it's rare 12 to 30. This one's rare at 16 to 39. So yeah. Oh God, it has different enchantments though. Wild rage. Hitting an enemy has a chance to send it to rage, making it hostile towards everyone. Ooh, so we'll start attacking nearby enemies as well. Not just me. That seems good. 20% chance to trigger. Uh, that's power. We already saw that one. Rapid fire increases your attack speed. Interesting. Don't know if I want to hang on to this one because that, that that rage, wild rage enchantment seems really interesting. But I think I might just salvage it, just get some of the stuff back. We spent 80 emeralds on it. We're going to get 31 back, so eh, whatever. Not that big of a deal, I guess. <laughs> we can still afford another uh, like mystery crate from him, but I don't think I want to do that one just yet. Let's do not Creeper Woods because we already did that one. Maybe let's do up to down. Let's do Redstone Mines next, Cacti Canyon. Or maybe I'll do Soggy Swamp because that one's like physically closer to Creeper Woods. Let's do Soggy Swamp next. Ooh. So we could do either tier one, tier two difficulty. It's like suggesting default two. So that's good. Recommended power four. I don't know. Oh, my power is four. So that's good. Normal difficulty. 0.6. Oh, well, that probably explains why the uh, Creeper Woods was so easy because it's only at 0.6% or 0 0.6 times difficulty. So it's pretty heckin' easy. But uh, gear and artifact power six to 13. That makes sense. That's pretty good. So, oh yeah, and then let's remember to try and use our fishing rod more often, because I keep forgetting about that, but anyways, let's start the mission over here in Soggy Swamp. Let's see what this is all about. Ooh, look at all the witches over here. Yeah, that makes sense. We're over in a swamp. There are going to be a lot of witches. A coven of wicked witches live at the heart of the sinister swamp. They conjure up all manner of brews to empower the arch illager and his ever-growing army. If you don't find and defeat those witches, the Illagers will be unstoppable. But tread carefully. The swamp is home to many horrors. Ooh, I can only imagine. Look at that. Like mushrooms and other stuff that we have around here, and of course our pet chicken. <laughs> find the brews, the objective. All right, well, let's remember to use the fishing rod to try and, like, I guess, push back enemies. We can use this to get a, a short amount of, like, running, which is pretty cool. And, of course, the firework arrows, that does a really good AoE sort of explosion whenever we throw it at enemies. And it does have a, a pretty good cooldown, so definitely want to remember to use those, you guys. But starting out here, is there any, like, loot right off the bat? And I don't see any. It's not like the tutorial level, I guess, where there's, like, loot, like, right behind you, just immediately, just out of the gates. Although, there is an area over here, and I don't know... If there's anything hidden back there, I don't think so. Yeah, it's just decoration. Let's see if we can find any enemies over here. Oh, 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 yeah, zombies and skeletons over there. Let's wait until, I guess, wait until they can groove up and we can actually hit them with the firework arrow, perhaps. So, hit the, oh, got the skeleton right there with the firework arrow and it killed an extra zombie and stuff, too. So that's, that's actually pretty good. Swiftness potion right there. Maybe I'll keep that right there. I don't know, maybe I'll take it. I'm like, we already have, oh, oh, zombies. Nice. Oh, that zombie's on fire. He got killed by the fall. Oh, baby zombie back there. Ooh, we're going to be putting up with baby zombies alongside the regular zombies. We still have the swiftness potion going on right now. Nice. Is this the other direction? I think it is. Yep, this is just the other direction. Okay. There's like a poison sign over there. We saw a poison sign like fall into the swamp. Uh, oh, yep. And there's the, uh, the swiftness just running out right there. We saw a poison sign fall into the swamp during the intro there. <laughs> but to kill these zombies. Yeah, nice. Strength potion. We're going to do extra damage now. 37 damage. 23 damage. Nice. Haven't used my bow, like, at all, except for, of course, the firework arrow initially, so that's good. We'll see if there's any other loot this way, because it looks like it, yep. There's, like, a whole area over here, and there's a bridge. Nice. Nothing up here? Yeah, I don't think so. What else is over here? Hopefully this bridge doesn't give out. Oh, oh, oh! A lot of stuff over there, you guys. Let's switch over to the firework arrow. I'd say that makes sense. And that shooter, oh! At him. Kill the baby zombie. And leveled up right there, nice. I don't know if this guy took any damage from that firework arrow, but there you go. We're actually doing... Pretty heckin' good damage over here, guys, without... And we leveled up right there, too, which is great. Seems like a relatively safe area to do a level up, but... I don't know if there's anything... Over here, yeah, this just... Just ends, I guess, huh? Yeah, I don't think there's anything over here. I guess we can do the level up right now, huh? So let's do it. So, how do I do that again? Uh, I think just, yeah, just, like, select one of our armor or something like that, right? Uh, we already have fire aspect there. We already have growing there. 
I guess we'll give something to our armor or... Oh, I can't do it to our uh, abilities down there, unfortunately, but... We do Recycler or the Surprise Gift. Which one do I want to do? Being hit by a damage-inflicting projectiles will occasionally craft a small quiver of arrow. That might actually be pretty good. But at the same time, whenever you use a healing potion, you sometimes create random consumables. I kind of want to do the Recycler, honestly. Every 30th projectile will get a small quiver of arrows. That seems good. Let's do that. There you go. And uh, I guess every 20th projectile, if we want to get a Tier 2, and then every 10th for a Tier 3, so that's interesting. And it was his head this way. I guess we'll do the uh, the roll right there. Just kind of move a little bit faster. Do another roll right there. What if we could actually upgrade that ability so we could roll a little bit more frequently? That'd be good. Oh, 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 witches! Woo! Switch over to the firework arrows. Got them right there. Nice. Got them both. Great. Let's get that TNT. We could actually use this to throw at the enemies as we saw last episode. So let's wait until we I can find anything to throw these. Out. Oh, oh, zombies! Nice. Throw them at these guys. Oh, threw them past them. Whoops! <laughs> it fell into the heck and swamp. <laughs> Whoops. Well, at least we, uh, oh, 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 illagers. Oh, and there's another, uh, hold on. Oh, man, my firework arrow's not ready just yet. Oh, look at that, the, uh, the, the, the witch, like, throws some sort of, yeah, potions. Might want to, definitely want to get her with the, uh, arrows. There we go. Maybe I'll get this guy. Melee him. There we go. Get him AoE with the fire aspect, which is good. Oh, 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 potion right there. I almost got hit. Speaking of hit, we just hit that heckin', uh, witch, like, three times in the heckin' head. Right between the eyes, it's really gruesome. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Anyways, let's look at them. Oh, oh, more of them up there. Oh, got hit right there. But no effects. I guess it's just a... Oh, I guess it's just like a lingering type potion, like if you walk into it. Oh, I hit the zombie there accidentally. Uh, yeah, I'm just taking damage whenever we walk into that, so definitely want to watch out for that, you guys. Kill the witch. There you go, with the arrows. That's good. Of course, I can melee this guy down. There we go, nice. Oh, two times fire aspect. Ooh, I wonder if we get combos if we do more damage doing that or what. Shadow form. Ooh, I can sneak past these guys. Nice. Runs out here in just a moment, though. All right, let's use the fishing rod. Oh, oh, it, it brings them to me, and then it, and then it, uh, it, it, it stuns them for a moment. Let's do it again on the zombie. Oh, whoops, I was facing the wrong direction. Hold on. Use it on the zombie. It brings it. Oh, nice. It's like a get over here sort of meme. Instead of, like in Minecraft, where it pushes you back, we can actually bring them to us. So, let's do that here. Oh, what? I missed? Man, that sucks. Uh... And get him. Oh, I brought one of them to me, and then there we go. It stuns him, and then we can slice and dice. Nice! And do the same thing there. Boom, got him. I think he was trapped behind some, like, walls right there, so that's good that we got him right there. Anything else over here? I don't think so. We haven't seen a chest, like, at all in this so far. I feel like we might have missed out on him, you guys. There's a, uh, a path down here, though. I love this mini, like, this overlay minimap. It's really, really helpful. Oh, yeah, we went this way. Yeah, that's where, where we went the other, uh, just a moment ago. Skeleton over the- Oh, slimes! Well, that makes sense. We're in the, uh, we're in the- in the swamp right now, you know? But- Oh, creeper! Oh, man! I still got hit by him, even though I rolled away. I guess I rolled away a little bit too slowly. But now we got a bunch of baby slimes over here we're gonna have to take care of. <laughs> there we go, we got him. And skeletons over here. Yeah, oh, oh, an arrow bundle, nice. Yeah, hit me with the arrows. That way, every 30th time I get hit by an arrow, I'll get a quiver of arrow. Maybe that's why that guy dropped the arrows right there. That'd be good. Get that- Oh, get the creeper. Eh? Oh! Oh, you know what? Let's get him with the firework arrow. Got him! Nice! That's really- I love that firework arrow. We need to use that way more often. I'm, I'm glad that I'm using them way more often now, though, so that's good. But now... Getting any closer to... Oh, destroy the bruise. Yeah, finally finding the bruise. Looks like there are cauldrons up there. Yep, we have to destroy them. We found the- Oh! Yeah, I don't know why I used an arrow right there. Like, we have 107, which is good. Oh, definitely want to kill the creepers with an arrow, though, so that's good. We can melee the creeper right there, because he's almost dead, so that's good. The zombie right there. And we could use the fishing rod. Oh, what is this? Oh, I guess it's locked off until we destroy all the brews, I suppose, huh? There's a brew right there. What if I hit him with the, uh... Oh, what if I hit him with the firework, though? Yeah, I didn't destroy it, unfortunately. I guess I have to melee it down, but it did stun that. Oh, oh, illagers right here. Let's get them. Nice. Yeah, I do have to melee it, but there's one down right there. Nice. We have five. We just destroyed one. There's still four left. And there's a swiftness potion right there. Nice. Or a strength potion, actually. Nice. There's a skeleton. Or a... Oh, creeper. Yeah, because we have the strength potion. Did extra damage to the creeper. Killed him in one hit, which is great. Kill that. Brew. Nice. A lot of zombies and stuff around here. Yeah, let's kill these slimes and stuff while we have the, uh, the strength. So we actually do extra damage to them. And we have shadow form now. Nice. So I can sneak up to them. They won't see me coming. Boom, got that guy. Oh, well, I guess it reveals me whenever I attack. That <laughs> makes sense. But let's see. Oh, creeper. Oh, oh yeah, I don't have a strength anymore. Oh, wait, I still killed him in one hit right there. Nice. Let's kill that witch back. Oh, whoops. 
I don't want to- Oh, strength potion right there, nice. We just roll past and get you. There you go, nice. Kill that witch with the strength potion after rolling straight towards her. Cause she didn't- one minute. Oh, whoa, whoa! An upgraded illager. Or something. Scatter crossbow? Ooh, nice! A lot of slimes over here just like kind of multiplying. Still have 15 seconds of, uh, strength, which is great. You know, oh, oh, let's get the firework. Hit him. Nice big explosion right there. Although it didn't really do too much except for cause that guy to turn into a bunch of smaller slimes. <laughs> but there's still like one, yep, yeah, one slime down there and that's it. And then there you go. Another brew down. There's one more. Oh, oh there's a witch. Oh man, I hit the thing. Man, I keep hitting it. There you go. Oh, 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 she's, oh, she even takes potions and stuff. Man, roll out of that. Ooh, speaking of potions, let's take a potion ourselves. Nice. Definitely want to remember that, you guys. Don't want to die out here. I don't know if I've died besides, like, you know, falling out of the world or anything like that. I think I have. Like, in episode one, like, in the tutorial, I think I died at least once or something like that. But anyways. Firework time! Nice! Big explosion! Amazing! Roll past you guys. And... Maybe I'll... Yeah, here we go. This is a lot better spot. Roll away again. Try and get to an advantageous position. Maybe even use another firework here if we get a bunch of people ganging up on us again, but we're doing really well. We can just take these guys on melee. All we have is just slimes around here. Where's the last uh, thing? I don't know. I'll have to check here in just a moment. I wonder if I can actually command my chicken to do something, because he's just following me around right now. He's not really doing anything. Hunting bow. Nice. I wonder how that compares to the scatter. Oh, that's all of them right there. That's all the bruise down. Nice. Now we have to find the cauldron. There's an apple I could heal up. I was already full health, basically, I think. Oh, creeper. Get him, get him. Is he dead? Yes, he is. Awesome. We have a slime right there. I guess we'll kill him. Got him down. All those mini slimes going down, too. Great. What's that guy? Another zombie? Yep, just a regular zombie there. Yeah, I'm not seeing, like, any chests or anything like that around here, you guys. I might be missing out on them or something, because surely I'm missing out on a lot of loot here, and I'm just not seeing them. Hmm. They are just being too... Oh, oh, there's an emerald thing right here, though. It kind of blended in, honestly. So that's good. We got that. And I just heard, like, something... Like, smash. Is that the, uh, the gate over there opening? I think it was. Can I jump down this area? I can! Nice! Oh, what was that? Is that something I could break? Uh, I think it is. Yeah. I think it's just decoration or something. Let's look at the map again. Yeah. Oh, emeralds up here I actually missed out on. Nice. Grab those. Is there anything up here I might have missed? Uh, nope. Not there. Over here. There might be. Mm. Oh! Did I fall into the swamp? Oh, I did! Man! <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, it shows a totem of undying right there, so I guess I'm not technically dying whenever that happens. So, it's just like, respawning me immediately, which is nice. Is there anything over here? I don't think so. Yeah, I think, I think now we're just ready to move on to the next area and go to the cauldron, huh? Find the cauldron. Oh, oh a lot of stuff up there. Yeah. Oh, baby zombie, kill you. And get you guys with the firework arrow, nice. It killed the skeleton, pushed this guy back a little bit, which is great. He's taking some damage over time from the fire aspect, which is awesome, and we killed them. Nice! Kill that zombie. Get more up here. I guess the cauldron's inside of there, huh? Looks like it, yep. I'm not seeing anything else over here, you guys. Oh! It's gonna take us, like, to a new area or something like that. Ooh. Let's go inside. Oh! Yeah, look at that. Like, instantly took us to a new area. Nice. Enderman up the- What? Is this a boss? I don't want to fight the Enderman. I oh, oh, there's a pig over there with a, a chest again, I think. I don't think I want to fight the un Enderman. I'm not looking at him, though. Why is he- Why is he, like, anger on me? I can't shoot arrows at him, right? Oh, yep, he teleported right there. Oh, I guess I'll try and... There you go. Try and take him down a little bit. I don't know if I can... Oh, I can't! Wait. I don't know if I actually did shoot an arrow right there at him or what. But, uh... Oh. Maybe I'll try and get him with a... With a... Oh, God! I'm actually taking a lot of damage right here, you guys. Golly! I don't know how to take on this Enderman without dying. There you go. T take a hit right there. I can't heal up just yet. There we go. Try not to actually get hit by him. Try and strafe him a little bit. I can't... Did I get him with a fire? I think I got him with a firework arrow right there, which is good. Oh god, I fell- <laughs> I fell into that against one- Oh, yeah, look at that, I'm full health right- Oh, jeez, almost dead, though. Oh, keep running, keep running! Take him out again. Oh my god, we're taking a lot of damage here. Oh, he's- Oh, man, I died! Man! We are really close right there. Oh, lives left, too. Hey, <laughs> that's good. We almost got the Enderman right there, you guys. Nice! Man, yeah, that, that healing takes a while to regen, but yeah, we died right there. That sucks. Hey, look at that, we have Shadow Form and Swiftness, nice. I don't think I really need it though. I can just run right past these guys, which is great. Now I'll go right towards the heckin'... There we go, the witch take her out, which is awesome. We still have Swiftness going on, we can just go right towards these guys, nice. Yeah, oh, there's the pig with the chest. Give me all those heckin' emeralds there, pig! Oh, do I have to kill... Oh, there we go, I got him right there, nice. Now let's see, we have a... 
TNT on our heads. Man, I like that little mini boss battle that we did back there, though. That was the first time that's happened. Definitely want to be a little bit more prepared for that, though, but I didn't know if I... Oh, oh, a witch. Man, taking a little bit of lingering damage right there. But I, know, I, I, I don't think we could actually hit him with a bow and arrow. I think we actually did with a firework arrow once. So I don't know if that's... Oh, God. Yeah, I need to take into account the heckin' TNT, like, like rolling whenever we throw it like that, you know? Either way, we have 200 heckin' arrows right now. Maybe I should use them. <laughs> just because just because we ha we've been kind of hoarding them lately, haven't been using them just because I didn't want to run out of them. So I guess it makes sense to actually start using them. I do want to come back here, though, because I think we might have missed something. No, not really, I don't think. Yeah. That was actually kind of cool. I, I hope... Oh, the witch right there. She's taking a health. And she's down. Nice. Three arrows to take her out. I don't even know if she actually got the healing potion right there. Nothing up here. All right. We already cleaned out a lot of the enemies here, which is good. Don't see anything here. I think that was just one pig with the hat that had the uh, the chest on him. Let's see if I can actually. Oh, oh, another chest right there. Nice. Dodge that arrow. Oh, an illager right there. And what is that? Just a torch, I guess. I guess so. But we do have a swiftness right here. But oh, we got a new crossbow right there. Oh, I need to go look at my inventory and look at the crossbow and see how it. Yeah, scatter crossbow. I think we had that earlier. I need to see how that compares to our regular bow that we or a rare bow that we have right now that does like 16 to like. 30 damage or something crazy. Let's see what else is over here. Nothing? I don't think so. Yeah, I think that's it. I can get that guy with an arrow. There you go. Oh, I need to use a fishing pole more often. Especially if there's just one. I could I could hit him with a fishing pole, like bring him to me, and then just kind of stun him too, so that's cool. But yeah, now now it seems like a safe area. Now we could actually Oh, did we level up? Again? I don't know if we have a uh Oh yeah, we do have a uh, enchantment up there. Nice. So let's see. Scatter crossbow, 17 times 3 range damage. 18 times 3. 16 to 40 with a hunting bow. Pets attack target mobs. Ooh! Maybe my chicken didn't finally attack. And this one's slightly better at 16 to 41. So maybe I'll do this one. How's that compared to this? The power's a little bit worse. The speed's a little bit better. The ammo... Well, ammo is now area. Or area is now ammo. So that's kind of interesting. Hunting bow. Ooh. Maybe we can try it out. Because 16 to 39 compared to 16 to 41. Pets attack the target. I don't know. I'll have to check. And of course, the growing thing doesn't. Oh, yeah, we have it over here, though. Bonus shot. Firing a shot also fires a second shot at nearby enemy. The second shot has a reduced damage. That seems all right. I'd... Oh, unenchanting projectiles deal more damage to enchanted enemies. Ooh. I don't know how we could tell if an enemy is enchanted, though. That's kind of weird. Uh, then, of course, we could do growing. So I guess we could kind of make up for that by just doing the enchantment over here. Although, I don't know if I want to do the enchantment just yet. Hmm. I think I'm going to do... Or do I want to use a cross, crossbow? Multiple projectiles. This crossbow modified to hold and fire multiple bolts is also half decent. Musical instrument. <laughs> I don't know, because we have these right here. This one does 18, and it also has the ra wild rage thing. Ooh. Hmm. The speed is a lot better. Power's worse. Ammo's worse. But 18 times 3, that would be... 36... 54? Damage if, if all of them hit one enemy, I guess? Maybe I'll try out the range, the, uh, the scatter crossbow right now. See how that does. And does, it takes three arrows at a time, I think, right? So I, I guess we'll wait until we actually come across a, a bunch of enemies. And I'll actually see how that, that fares. Like, if I have a bunch of them grouped up, can I actually hit them with this, the scatter crossbow a little bit easier, perhaps? That'd be good. But now, I think we were, oh wait. Oh yeah, we already cleaned out this bit right here, but we go up. And yeah, there's going to be more stuff up here, it looks. Yep, there's an illager guy. Uh, yeah, we can just melee him, but... Eventually, we're going to come across a bunch of enemies, I'm sure. We could actually test out this... Oh, yep, here we go. Oh, yeah, oh, nice! And is it taking three arrows at a time? Uh, 137, 136... No, it's just taking one! Or one ammo at a time? Yeah, I think it's just taking one every time we shoot it. That's good! We got some regeneration from taking that, uh, that pork chop or whatever right there, so that's great. Is there anything else over here, though? Uh, I guess we just go down to a lower area. And then, of course, if we had the hunting bow, we could actually command our chicken to attack our enemies, so that's good. I don't know how much damage a heckin... It's a baby chicken, too, by the way. <laughs> I don't know how much damage a baby chicken would do. And yeah, this circles around, so I don't think we really missed out on anything right now, so... This this scattered crossbow seems really good to you guys. It's got multi-shot. So definitely want to use it, especially for crowd control, if we have a bunch of enemies. Which we've seen... We, we've been using the... Oh, whoa! We've been using the, uh, the firework arrow. Or firework, uh, yeah, I think it is just a firework arrow. To basically, like, kind of do crowd control, but I guess this would be a good uh, alternative if I don't want to... Oh, I've got the shadow thing. If I don't want to use uh, the firework or if it's on cooldown or whatever, you know, so that seems good. Didn't really go oh, oh, here we go. A lot of enemies here. 
And I didn't really get. Oh! Did this see it doubled as a musical instrument? I think it's making like a tone every time we shoot it. Like like a guitar or something crazy. I don't know. You guys have to listen to it though. Oh, yeah, there was stuff up here apparently. I don't know if I missed out on it. There's like a whole area up here. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, we might have missed something, but I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> But this area seems relatively tame right now. Kind of kind of calmed down a bit, which is good. Creeper. Oh, man. We need to watch out. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a lot easier, I guess, if, especially if we're closer to kill these slimes, right? There you go. Got him. Nice. Down to 124 arrows. Thankfully, it's not taking three arrows at a time for these bolts. Uh, and then we can get an emerald thing right here. We can get a bunch of emeralds. Nice. Uh, we're up to 186 emeralds right now. Nice. Got another slime and another illager, yeah, illager right there. Kill the slime. There we go. It's going to be a lot easier to kill all these slimes with the- Oh! Shadow form right there. Nice. Got this. Oh, nice! Really good damage right there. 133. Why do we do so much right there? I think it's because of the sneak. But how am I doing, like, so much with that sneak bonus, huh? Oh, whoa! Another guy right there. Hold on, hold on. Let me use my fishing rod. There we go. Got- Oh, whoops! Didn't mean to use my bow right there, but I did. <laughs> I was still able to kill him right there, which is great. But we can kill the- There we go. Get the witch from a distance. She's healing up. There we go, we got her. I think we can hit her with two arrows right there at the end. Nice. So that's good. And, yeah, there's an alternative path this way we could have gone, but, uh, of course we didn't go here. Kind of interesting that it's kind of lighting up around us, even though I don't have, like, a torch or a lantern or anything like that. Let's see what's over here on this direction, though. Oh, this is actually where we have to go, though. There we go, got that guy. Nice. Did 18 damage and killed him, so that's good. Now, I don't know, I don't know how this compares. Because so far, we haven't really come across, like, a big crowd of enemies. To really use it on them, the main thing we've been seeing that it's like useful on is like going against like big slimes. So we could actually hit them with multiple projectiles because they're so heckin' huge. But uh, oh, oh, I think over here is going to be the end. Nice. But what's over here though? There's got to be something up here. Or is it just a random dead end? I think it is. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. I wonder if we could actually see something up there if we're like in a. Oh, hold on. What about over here? What if I? Oh man, I fell into the heckin' water and died. <laughs> I wonder if it actually did take a life from us. Yeah, speaking of life, let's actually heal up right there. Nice. Man, I need to remember to use that more often. I like how the transitioning from inside to outside is like instantaneously. There's no heckin' loading screen or anything like that. That's really good. Really good emeralds right there. Nice. Now we're outside. And I think up here is a path. Nah, there's nothing up here. Man. Oh, skeleton right there. I guess we'll hit him. The projectiles. Nice. But yeah, it's just, it's just giving us minimal amounts of enemies. Yeah, I guess if we're on a higher difficulty, you'd have more and more enemies, we could actually, oh, we could actually use the, the multi-shot a little bit more effectively against extra enemies and stuff. I don't think there's anything up here yet. Nothing up there, unfortunately, so that sucks. But, now we're going to hopefully find this cauldron out here. The main cauldron, I guess. Oh, oh! Multiple enemies right there. Let's get them. Fire aspect. Got them both right there. Nice! Did like a sweeping edge sort of meme. Take out both of them. Great! What's in this alternate direction? Oh, oh, an illager right there. Nice, got him. We can get this guy with the heckin' bow. Or, or uh, the fishing rod, right? Man, I didn't get to use it. Oh, yeah, it was uh, on cooldown. Whoops. Anyways, we got strength. Definitely want to use this while we have it. It's about a 30 second sort of potion. Let's see. Any enemies up here? Because, of course, this applies both to melee and our range. So, 23 damage. Nice. Another zombie there. Another zombie there. Yeah, we're taking out these guys. No problemo. Which is great. Get this guy with the arrows. Get him again with the fire aspect. Took him out. Nice. Yeah, oh man, my strength is about to run out in like 10 seconds. I'm not, not getting to use it. Unlike anything over here, unfortunately. <laughs> man. Anything else? Oh, yeah, just zombies and stuff over there. Yeah, pretty normal stuff thus far. There you go. Yeah, get the fishing rod. There you go. Stun him. And there we go. Nice. Yeah, I need to use that. Like, maybe I'll use that against the, uh, what do you call him? Oh, I guess I can use it. Oh, I can use it against the slime. Nice. Stun him. Now is that slime? I don't know if that stuns the baby slimes or not, but I should definitely check here in the future. Anyways, there was something over here, wasn't it? I don't know what happened to it. I guess it's dead. <laughs> What's over here, though? I thought there was another one over here. I don't know. Maybe it's gone, too. I'm uh, not seeing anything on the map here worthwhile. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Oh, oh, speaking of such, let's try and get the witch. Nah, she dodged. Man. Let's get her. Got her right there. Stunned her and sliced. And, of course, I was inside of her lingering, like, damage over time, like, potion thing, so I need to watch out for that. Make sure I don't have too much more often. Take care of that zombie. I think right of hero might be getting closer to that cauldron, you guys. Yep, seems like we're getting closer and closer, and although the enemies have kind of thinned out a bit. <gasps> a camp! Can I save someone here? Although there are supplies there, which is good. Arrow bundle, bread, I like that. Probably should have saved it in case I needed the food for healing up, but whatever. 
I mean, I really need to remember that because I don't know if it despawns. Like, if I'm in an altercation and I'm low on health and I can't do a health because it's like on uh, cooldown, maybe I can come back here and grab the bread and heal up using that. But, ah, man, I need to remember to use that and strategize a little bit more often, you know? Anyways, oh, creeper over there. Oh, man. Oh, there's even a uh, witch over there we need to get with the. There you go, God. Oh, I wonder if. I don't think she does friendly fire to herself, unfortunately. <laughs> That'd be really good if. So oh, God. I get damage from that, but. There we go. Multi shot arrows. Take out the witches. There we go. Man. More witches over here. Yeah, we're getting really close to this cauldron, I feel, with all the witches that we're seeing over here. Oh, creeper there. Nice. Got him. Got the skeleton. Might keep that apple there, at least for right now. Because we're doing well on health. I do see another enemy over here. Oh, yep. It was a witch. Let's get her. <gasps> oh, there's like a, che a special chest there. What is that? Whoa! A lot of stuff right there. A lot of emeralds. Arrow bundle. Hunter's promise. Unique. 11? Soul healer. What was that, actually? I can barely see that shot. I wonder if I can actually rotate the camera and see that. Although, usually you can't rotate the camera in these kind of isometric type games. So, I doubt you can, but... Yeah, I guess we'll eat the apple now and kind of heal up a little bit right there. Give us a little bit of regen for like 3-4 seconds or whatever that is. So, that's good. Kill that zombie, and I kind of want... Oh, another chest right there. Nice. Now, can I get to that? I might have to roll over there. So, yeah, let's take care of these zombies real quick. Just so we can actually kind of strategize how to get over that chest. So how do we do that? Maybe roll like that. Oh, there you go. Nice. Arrow bundle and a bunch of emeralds. Nice. Don't mind if I do. And, oh, roll past you. There you go. So now let's see. What, what do we get right there, you guys? Soul healer. What is that? Heals most injured ally. Wait, what? Oh, I guess it, yeah, it includes yourself. Okay, so that's good. So what is that? Do I put it? Okay, it's down there. Yeah, maybe I'll replace the, that down there. And of course, if I'm almost dead. Oh, do I have to like, how do I do this? Three to 58 health heal. That seems pretty good. One second cooldown. That seems crazy. Plus one soul gathering. Requires souls. Oh, I don't have souls? I need to get soul. I guess you kill stuff, you get souls, and you could use it to heal yourself up. So that's that's probably why it's locked down there, because I don't have enough souls. Now, where's the souls at on the... Oh, that's what's down here on the bottom. Over here on the bottom right is my XP and my level progression. And down here on the bottom left is my life, I think, right there. How many lives I have remaining, but also down there, how many souls I've got, maybe? How do I get souls? I guess I, I said like maybe killing stuff, but I haven't gotten like anything down there, so I don't know. What about up here? Hunter's Promise. 18 to 45 range damage. Pets attack targeted mobs. Chance to regain arrows. That seems pretty good, you guys. This enchanted bow deepens the bond between the hunter and their trusted animal companion. Hmm. You know what? Let's switch out to that now. That seems pretty good. And of course, we could actually get our pets to start to... Uh, our pet chicken, that is, to start attacking stuff. So that seems pretty good. Now what's up here? Let's kill that guy. Nice. Got him right there. Infinity. What? Infinite arrows? I guess you get infin infinity arrows for as long as you have that to... Yeah, look at that. Now I have, like, infinity right there. Nice. I guess you get infinity arrows for the, like, two seconds that last right there. So that's good. Is there a soul right there? Oh, yeah, look at that. I've got souls following me right now, you guys. Nice. So, yeah, every I guess every time we're killing these zombies, we're gathering souls. It's progressing down there. I guess maybe if we gather enough souls, we get another life, perhaps? Is that how that works? Maybe it is. Either that or we could use that to heal ourselves up using the uh, number three right there, the soul, what was that thing called? Soul healer. Heals most injured ally nearby, including yourself. I don't know if my uh, my baby chicken down there has like a health bar or anything like that I need to watch out for, but there is an area over here. Is there anything I might have missed out on though? Uh, is there something right here? I don't know, it looked like there might have been. I guess not. Yeah, I guess it's just a mushroom, yeah. Oh, my baby chicken's like glitching out up there. <laughs> Let's keep going this way though. Hopefully get a, oh wait, hold on. Should I have gone across that bridge? Because now I'm on the under bit. So that sucks. I don't know. I feel like I should have. I went up there. It would have gone up there. I don't know. Maybe it all just meet up eventually. Who knows? Either way, we're getting a little bit closer, hopefully, to the heckin' cauldron. Oh, the music's changed. Oh! Uh-oh! Looks like the... Oh! Smash the cauldron. Corrupted cauldron. We have to smash it. Let's do some damage to it. And I guess we'll have to run... Oh my god! There's a heckin' baby zombie riding a chicken! Oh my god! A lot of, like... Up the slimes over here too. We're gonna, we need to heal up, you guys. Holy, there we go. Do some good damage to these things. Try and do some damage to. Oh my gosh, we're doing some good damage to all these slimes over here, which is good. Hopefully, we get like an infinity sort of. Oh yep, we've got infinity right now, which is good. Doing some good damage to all them. Oh my god, we're just aiming down all these second slimes over here, which is good. It's taking multiple shots though, and I don't have the best position, fortunately. But there we go. Kill those slimes, especially the ones that are closest to us. That's good. Man, there's a lot of them here. I should probably, uh, ambush it, honestly. 
Trying to do some more damage to it. Oh, it's on fire. I'm ta- Whoa, I'm taking really good damage. I'm going to heal up right there using the soul healer thing. Whoa. I wonder if I can actually hit it with the, uh, the bow. That'd be really good if I can. Oh, I, I can, I think. Nice. That's good. Keep hitting it. Nice. Oh, man, I'm taking a lot of damage there, though. Healing up. There you go. Good. A lot of heckin' slime creatures around here. Corrupted cauldron. Doing a lot of damage. Spawning in a bunch of corrupted slimes around us, you know. Arrow bundle there. That's good. Continue doing damage to it, perhaps. Or just do damage to these slimes. I don't know. Or maybe, you know what? Let's use the firework arrow. Those massive extra AoE. Nice. Good. And we got another slime right there. I accidentally just hit him with a heckin' fishing pole. Whoops. This. <laughs> But, uh, ah, man, we're gonna heal up again here in the future, hopefully. Fire aspect right there on that slime, nice. Man, they're, they're not hitting me right now, which is good. But I need I need to heal up again. I don't know if I can actually... Yeah, I can't hit from here. Oh, oh, here's another alternate path, nice. So I actually uh, hit the cauldron with our arrows. Maybe another firework here in just a moment. I can need to heal up again. Heal up, there we go, nice. Trying to roll out of here. Oh, God. Can't roll out. Keep going this way, keep going this way. Oh, man. Corrupted Cauldron's actually taking some good damage, though, so that's good. Keep doing damage to it. There you go. Got a lot of slimes around us. It's down to about a third health right now. Or, down from a third. It's at two-thirds health right now. Man. Yeah, I just, I just need to hang out up here. I don't think anything can really hit me. Unfortunately, I can't hit the Cauldron from here, though, but... Yeah, just use this area to kind of heal and kind of hang out a bit. Maybe hit it with a Firework Arrow. Oh, whoops! That arrow hit a little bit too close right there, but hey! Maybe it did a little, good, little bit of damage to all these heckin' slimes and stuff. That'd be good. Ah, man. Thankfully, these slimes haven't really come up here, though, so that's good. But I still have a firework arrow I could use. Here in just a moment. It's about halfway on the cooldown. I don't know if I want to go over here to these guys yet. Jeez, there's a lot of slimes! There's so many of them! There we go! Big explosion right there to kill those slimes. Nice! Man, let's, let's keep using the arrows here. Take care of these slimes as well. And to hopefully do damage to this cauldron, you guys. There we go. Just kind of strafe around it. There we go. Nice. And continue doing damage. It's at half health right now. Oh, God. I was stuck right there. Whoops. Jeez. <laughs> but we're doing some good damage to it. It's down to half health. A little bit under half health right now, which is great. And. Oh, nice. Look at that. It's down to about a third now. Oh, my God. I'm taking some damage, though. I need to watch out. There we go. Kill these slimes. Run away. Roll away. And we go to Firework Arrow next. Look at, look at all those slimes right there, you guys. Nice. Oh, a new sword? Or what is that? What is that? Is that dual wielding swords? I think it might be. Hold on. Let's go grab it here in just a moment. Oh, man, I'm getting trapped. I'm getting trapped. Oh, my God. I can't roll away. There we go. Jeez. <laughs> I might use the uh, the soul thing. Actually, you know what? My, my healing is almost ready to be used again. Come on. Man, that thing is down. A pretty good amount of health. There you go. Speaking of health, just healed up right there, which is good. Let's use some arrows. There are no another firework arrow right there, which is good. Kill these slimes immediately. Get that apple. Daggers. Nice. They ought to do some damage to this thing real quick. I don't know if I can. Ah, man, I'm on fire. Need to watch out for that. Make sure it doesn't happen too much uh, often. Oh, strength potion. Nice. Let's use that against the... Oh, no, I'm going to... Three, heal up. Oh, my God. I'm going to use it against the cauldron right there because I've got really good damage. I took it down with the extra damage from the strength. Nice. And some apples to heal up there at the end. What do we get here? Harvester. Another scrat scatter crossbow, which I guess is worse because it's got the red arrow there. Nice. I think we did pretty well right there, you guys. Not bad. Didn't die during that. I'm actually surprised. I thought we would have died. There are a lot of slimes that were during that, you guys. Jeez, but now we just got to escape the swamp, which I guess we just progressed that away. And now we just need to see, like... I guess that also just goes to show, yeah, that, that healing thing down there is really good as backup if our, uh, our potions there are on cooldown. So, anyways, the daggers... 14 melee damage, dual wield. Daggers are the weapon of cravens, or folks say. Ooh. And the speed is really good, obviously. Power is not that good. Area is not that good, obviously. But what is this one? Harvester. When used, the harvester releases souls in an explosion. What? So I guess I could spend souls. Yeah, I'll require souls. Plus one soul gathering. One second cooldown, but not 4 to 94 artifact damage. Golly, that seems crazy good, guys. I guess it's the exact opposite of the soul healer thing down here. Where it does, like, massive amounts of damage. Man, that seems good. Harvester siphons the souls of the dead before releasing them into a clustered hex of power. Ooh. Interesting. And, uh, what about our bows and stuff over here? I, that would have been a really good one to try out the, uh, the scatter crossbow. Whichever one's the, the best, I guess it'd be this one. 18. Yep, that one right there. 18. Three, uh, range damage. That would have been really good for, you know, just the amount of slimes we're going up against there, you guys. We have two enchantments right now, though. I cannot enchant the uh, artifacts down there, unfortunately, but 
Maybe I could do one to the Hunter's Promise over here. Do maybe some more damage and stuff. That seems good. Accelerate was that one. Increases the attack speed for each consecutive shot. Resets one second after attack. And multi-shot grants to fire chance to fire five arrows at once. That seems really good. That might be like as good as having a multi-shot. And of course, it'd be the Hunter thing too. So that seems good. Fuse shot. Every few shots has a time charge that explodes one second after impact, dealing 100% damage to nearby enemies. Ooh, so every fifth shot is basically a bomb arrow. Ooh. I don't know if I want that one or the multi-shot, because I kind of want to do another one on, like, my armor as well, because I don't, I don't want to spend both of these on this just yet. But maybe I'll do... Fuse shot. Maybe I'll do... Man. Let's do fuse shot. That seems pretty good. Maybe if, if I'm really good at counting my arrows, I could actually figure out, okay, this next one is going to be the one that has the bomb on it. So let's do that one. There we go. And let's see what else I could do. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll do one for my... Oh, yeah, I can't do another one, can I? Yeah, I need uh, two enchantments there to actually do that. And same thing with my armor there. Hmm. I guess I'll just have to save up this, this one enchantment. Oh, yeah, I guess if anything, yeah, we could... Sal oh, we could salvage out here. I thought we had to go out to the big, uh, to the base to do it, but I guess we can get, uh, one enchantment back or something from this one. The 16 to 39 range damage. I guess we'll get one back from that, so. Yeah, 16 to 39, 18 to 45. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Let's salvage that one. Get, uh, 34 emeralds back and an enchant, so that's good. A few shots. Now we could actually get every fourth shot. Or we could do another thing on armor over here, which is recycler. Being hit by damage inflicted projectiles will occasionally craft a small quiver of arrows every 30th projectile right now. If I upgrade it again, it'll be every 20th. Then we have this one, fire aspect. Ooh. Yeah, let's do our sword. We haven't done a sword in a while. So let's do this one. Four damage per second instead of three damage per second. That seems pretty good for our sword. So now it's got fire aspect two. So that's great. Nice. All right. Well, we spent all of our uh, enchantments right there, which is good. Because definitely want to keep on uh, keeping our stuff nice and upgraded. Cutting edge tier. So we can do more damage and stuff over time, and of course now we've got like the exploding bomb arrows, so that's going to be awesome, you guys. And now if we go over here, I think that's going to be the end of the level. The Arch Illager's potion supply is no more, and it'll be a long time before the witches recover from this blow. Well done. Oh, thank you very much, no problemo. I really like that level, you guys, nice! New, new enemies and stuff that we came- oh! Players downed? Uh, how did that happen? I guess I killed myself, so that, that counted. Projectiles hit 66%, damage dealt 13,561, chests open 60... I missed... What, like two chests? I guess there were five chests, I got three of them, I know I opened at least two of them. Maybe I, there was a third one I also opened, but I guess I opened... Uh, I guess I missed out on two of them, so that sucks. Let's see what's inside this chest over here that we get every time we beat a level. Let's see, open it up. Anything good? Another fishing rod? Pfft. I don't know, maybe this one's going to be a little bit better than the one we have, because this one's common, it's got the green arrow. I guess we'll see, and here we are at the camp, nice. Let's see, how's that compared to our current fishing rod? 1.6 seconds stun duration, 5 seconds cooldown, 1.6 seconds stun, er, 1.7. So it's slightly better, even though it's common. I don't know how that uh, is a thing, but... Uh, I'm like, the stun at least lasts a little bit longer, so that's good. Maybe I'll actually switch it out. <laughs> So there we go, and I guess uh, maybe I'll salvage this and get some out of it. So, boom, get uh, some emeralds, there we go. Scatter crossbow, and uh, we also have this harvester over here. I don't know, maybe, I'm like, the fishing rod definitely has its use. The harvester, I don't know if I want to use that just yet. Maybe I'll keep it over here. Uh, and then, of course, we have this old wolf armor. Maybe I'll salvage that and get some stuff out of it, 15 emeralds. Mm, maybe. Yeah, I guess I'll get rid of it for right now. Then, of course, we have these old scattered crossbows. Uh, I guess I'll get rid of this one. There you go. And this one, just because they do the least damage. Then we have these hunting bows over here. Rare. But well, ours over here is unique at 11. This one's 9. That one's 9. 16 to 40, 16 to 41, and 18 to 45. So yeah, I guess I'll salvage both of these. Get some emeralds out of those. And uh, maybe I'll uh, switch out my melee... What? Oh yeah, uh, if I wanted to upgrade that... How do I do that? I guess I have to do that, and then... How do I... Uh, yeah, I don't know if I can actually... Oh, here is down here. I'm stupid. <laughs> Committed. Deal increased damage against already wounded enemies. Nice. Zero to 50% bonus damage. That's interesting. What about this one right here? Rampaging. After defeating a mob, there's a 10% chance to increase your attack speed by 50% for a short time. Interesting. But yeah, next time we come back with more uh, Minecraft dungeons, I guess we'll find out what these daggers are all about, see if they're actually really good or not. But 
you yeah, also want to remember to, if they're not that good, want to switch out to our sword over here. 10 to 16 melee damage, 14 melee damage. So it's, got, it's like right in the middle there. So we, d I guess, do similar damage, but of course it doesn't have fire aspect, unfortunately. So I guess we'll actually just see how good that is when we come back next episode. But for right now, I guess we'll go buy another uh, crate from this guy because we got like 469 emeralds. And we can buy, oh, wait, what? Why is it 84 emeralds to buy another one? Hmm, maybe it's going to be better, hopefully. Because <laughs> it was 80 beforehand, so let's see. What, oh, hold it down. Oh, we got a pickaxe? I, I, I think I said last episode. I wonder if we can get a pickaxe, but there we go. The pickaxe has been the iconic tool of adventurers and heroes for as long as anyone can remember. Power 9. Now, is that a we It is a weapon. 25 melee damage? That's the... I guess we're not using the daggers. We're using the pickaxe. 25 melee. But it's, it's probably got, like, really slow attack speed, right? It's got the same attack speed as the, the sword. And better power. What uh, enchantments do we have over here? Looting. <laughs> that makes sense for a bit, right? Weakening. Your attacks decrease the attack damage of all nearby enemies for five seconds. That seems really good, you guys. Nice. That's a really spooky image right there, too. And, of course, increases the chance for mobs to drop consumables. 100% increased chance. This pickaxe seems really good, you guys. Wow. I cannot wait until next episode when we actually try that out against some enemies. And uh, when we come back next episode, what are we going to do? Breadstone Mines, Cacti Canyon, Pumpkin Pastures, or do we want to do a more difficult version of Creeper Woods or even... Oh, I guess uh, my difficulty is right there. I can't do difficult three because it recommends power 10. We currently have eight. So I guess we could do default two for Creeper Woods and that, that kind of balanced it out a little bit, you know, but... For right now, I guess it's going to be the end of this episode, which is like 50 heckin' minutes long, and hopefully you guys enjoy the longer episode, because I know you guys really loved episode one. But either way, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below, and if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That'll put my- oh, 32 damage now, nice, look at that. Oh, I guess we can test out the daggers, too. But be sure to hit that subscribe button. That'll put my latest videos- oh, look at that attack speed! Nice! Oh, okay, I don't have to spam click, I can just hold it down and we'll attack constantly. 18, 18, 18, 18, whoa! Then, uh, back to the pickaxe. I really wish it showed your DPS, though. Because that 18, 18, 18, 18 might be a higher DPS, you know, damage per second, than the pickaxe here that does 32, 32, 32, 32. Hmm, I guess we'll have to figure out a little bit later. We are getting a little bit low on uh, arrows, too, down to 53. We had like 200 at one point in time, or close to it, right? Sheesh. But either way, I don't know where I was in my outro, but you guys know the deal. Be sure to hit the like button if you guys enjoy the video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you guys want more of these awesome videos. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Minecraft dungeons. Where we're going to take on one of the next few maps. I guess we'll figure out which one that is when we come back. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Minecraft dungeons. Oh, bye there. <laughs> <laughs> this is my new outro. I'm going to keep a fishing pole in my inventory at all times just so I could do this outro with the fishing pole, right? Uh, but anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time. Oh, bye there. <laughs>